All right, folks, and welcome to the peak of my POE virtual career. This is the best build I've ever done. The most scaling it has it potential-wise. It's the most fun I've had. It's fast, it's zippy, it one-shot stuff. You have to dodge some stuff. You feel good playing it. It's overall a grand old time. If you take a look at some of my older videos, you'll see the early days of the deck stacking Spectral Throw, and you can see how far we've come. There's going to be two parts to this video. First of all, I'm going to run you through the gear and how we got there. Um, and how we made it etc and then the second part is going to be boss kills this is the big final update to the deck stacker and some showcase of some deeps i've already like insta phased on both man <laughs> oh my lord Exile, do something. Trying to go for the, the fastest Uber Elder I've done. Is that it? Holy shit, that was quick. There's no way I'm doing this one deathless. Absolutely no way. I can just about do regular Maven deathless sometimes. I'm just going to go full damage on her. I'm going to get power charges actually for this one. <clears throat> Okay. That's just up, down, up, right? Alright, we can handle that. After that, the brain goes. You see there, I just popped a ball on the floor. That's what I can't keep track of. Whilst everything's going on, I can't keep track of, like, the, the room. Because that is such a bad placement for that ball. Because you're trying to do a memory game whilst fighting bloody monsters that can one-shot you. Is it just back and forth and then up down? Scurry, scurry. Stop. Oh wow. Wow, that looks like decent to some shit. Mm. 
Yeah, I've got absolutely no hope here, boys. Up, left, round. No idea, bro. Up, left, round, down, up, left. Oh my god, yo, there it is, boys. Actually, deathless uber maven. We're gonna, gonna go down that route. It's pretty good damage, you know? Look at that. All right, we didn't do the mechanics, but you can see the damage on an 85 boss. Yeah, he's dead. Alright, let's just try to get damage out. That's the game plan, right? Korean time, Korean gamer. Bro, I'm not I'm not capping though, man. Like I am getting much better at It's just a case of showing the damage though, like we are melting this guy, right? And the guy takes 70% less damage. Dukes can't friggin' see up there, bro. Don't insta phase. Give me a give me a damage phase, please. What a bastard, bro. There we go, man. I told you, you just got to be able to dodge the balls, man. Chances are it probably goes wrong because we can all agree that the 85 Cirrus is a little bit fucking messed up, especially when I've had to respec my tree. Uh, but we'll give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so the last time, I, the, the best attempt I've done here, I think, is one death. And the way I did it was I just committed and I kept blinking to him. So that's what I'm going to try this time. I'm just going to try to stay on him. The longer the fight goes on, the, the more messed up it gets. You've got to be brave on this guy. In my opinion. 85 zone. Yep. to find out where he is really quickly then you have to try dive under him i feel like that's the play so you just have to be brave on him so he's over here right to the right so you just try to get under him a little bit get him down as quick as you can He put me in a trap phase there. I didn't even realize he was doing that. Yeah, 
Right, so he's in here somewhere, so we need to get around him, don't we? There we go. You just gotta try and get under him quickly. He's over on the right hand side, yeah. We need to try and get him out. Right. Can't find him. He's chilling up there, man, making a mess of the arena, bro. I'm gonna try and commit for him after this. Right, I think I went under him there. No? Uh, it's gotta be it, right? Oh, I went so low there, bro. I bossed him. Ah, he was over there. It's definitely, I mean, it's definitely doable. Certainly viable, bro. Just now it gets awkward to get back in the room. Because you sort of lose where he is, you know. Look at that, man. I, I think that's clean, man. All right, and we go with no, no power charges. All right, that was pretty, <laughs> that was pretty redonkulous, that. Wow, <laughs> there's a Minotaur and a Phoenix gone. Holy shit, that's crazy, bro. So we started off with the, the claw. That is a deck stacking claw. The way we made it, a hunter Gemini claw. Essence spammed, deafening essence of hatred until we had cold damage and attack speed. Annulled it down. And then we did multi-mod. Suffix can't be changed. Prefix can't be changed. And then we um, reforged cold um in harvest which guarantees the dex mod and then we finished off the claw the helmet is just uh fractal thoughts with an enchant we ended up double corrupting this it got plus two plus two it doesn't do anything apart from give some levels on withering step the amulet all these are synthesized so percent dex by the way you can bless them so if you buy a 13 percent quality one bless it to 15 and then add attribute catalysts yeah you can make it 20 percent and then 18 percent decks we used pretty much for most of the gear that we crafted uh deafening essence of sorrow this basically you're just looking for decks life um you can have non-channeling on it or something else or you can put another non-channeling one on your ring so that's what we ended up with the shield um, we had a different chest piece, so this is the, we'll do the chest and shield together. So the chest piece we originally had was this. I chaos spammed this, very lucky. Uh, it, it hasn't been pinged at 50 eggs, so it's probably worth like 15 or something. It had dex, percent dex, and life, and spell suppression. We then bought this chest piece. This chest piece is 
attack speed per 25 dex. That's how we've ended up with the absolute nuclear bomb damage. Um, base crit and life with percent dex. So what I did was I got a base that was unlinked that had those suffixes. It cost 40 exalts. And I then scoured. Suffix can't be changed scour. And then I just kept exalting. And then if it bricked, suffix can't be changed scour to end up with that. What you can also do is suffix can't be changed and then reforge life in harvest. Um, I just didn't want to pass the chess piece over to anybody to do that. So I just did it with exalts. It ended up costing 40 exalts and it cost about, honestly, I think it was like six exalts to get tier six life. And then I just crafted life on it. Um, because we lost all the spell suppression, we then made the shield with chaos spam. So we got... Uh, no, we made the shield with dex essences. And it took around... I think it was I think it was about 200 to get spell suppression, life, and dex. And then I put cold as chaos. You could do attack speed, but I, I did POB. And it said cold as chaos was good. So I did that. And then it had an open suffix and I exalted lightning res on. Then doesn't really do anything for us. We're already capped. Um, this ring here is just a stat ring, dex, strength, life, channeling, and it has a bit of chaos res. Uh, this ring cost 45 exalts. It's actually, in some ways, less damage than the ring I originally had, where I had crit chance. But um, this gives... There's, there's not really a ring like it, to be honest, because of the implicits. It has 92 int, 80 dex. Um, it has 86 life. And then it has 25 multi. And then it has a little bit of lightning damage to shock. I have no idea on the price of this. I bought it for 40 exalts. The reason it costs that much is just basically because it has tier 1 life and then multi. The multi is not really actually giving you that much... Uh, but yeah, that's what I did because we were absolutely min-max in the build. That's what we had. Before that, I basically just had that ring duplicated, except it was on a diamond ring. Uh, gloves are decks. These were purchased. These were probably the cheapest piece of gear. They were like 50c. Um, ideally, by the way, you'd want them to be on an evasion base so you can get uh, up here. 10% chance to spell suppress if your gloves have evasion. That would make gearing a bit easier. So we just put attack speed on them. They just have dex life. And then the only reason these are somewhat hard to get, obviously, is that it's the temple mod. Crit chance against shocked enemies. Uh, so the reason we can shock is because we have lightning damage. And if you didn't know, because I didn't, I wicked it recently. Apparently, if you crit, with an element, it always inflicts their um, status. So obviously it might not do a massive shock, but technically he is shocked. So therefore I get the crit chance against the shocked enemy. And then we've got attack speed on the Eater of Worlds. No, searching Exarch. And then we've just got exposure. Because this node here makes our exposure always deal minus 18. Uh, the boots, these are like the reason it does so much damage. It probably won't do so much damage next league if you're playing it, unless they keep the shit. Uh, basically, you get the dex mod twice. This is a sentinel mod. Um, I've got the imprint here somewhere. I just went ahead and imprinted it. So got the magic pair of boots with just the mod. And then I augment regaled. I got dex fire res and then I multi-modded it. And then on the implicits, I put elusive effect and then action speed. Action speed is better than move speed because most of the time the way we're playing is we're whirling blades. And action speed, yeah, it, it, it's just better than move speed because we don't really need the move speed, to be honest. Uh, and we put on onslaught on kill just for mapping because onslaught, if you read there, if you press alt, um, onslaught grants 20% attack and move speed so yeah and then the last piece of gear was the belt this is just life dex wed um 
on a synthesized implicit with a tiny bit of chaos res. And that's it, that's all is blanketed snow and cold to the core. That means we basically have damage pen and we have cold damage per dex and strength. So reducing my dex and strength with this jewel up here, uh, down here, sorry, isn't the best, but we'll get onto that. And then this one here, <clears throat> Mathel used a different one because he wanted the the life gained on hit because he used a claw that was synthesized, so he didn't have the life gained on hit. I chose to use Sublime Sensation because it basically gives us just a load of life. So that just gives me a bit of Chaos Res Dex. Um, increase effect, so I get a bit more life. So I get 5% and a bit more Chaos Res and Dex. So that was nice. Uh, the other jewels I'm using are just attack speed, life, attack speed, and then a bit of res. I don't actually need the resistance anymore. Jewel down here, yeah. This is the only reason I'm wearing this jewel. It's not actually that great. Is because the helmet, you need more your, your strength needs to be higher than your intelligence and without this jewel um my intelligence is higher and there's probably a better way to do it but that's how i've ended up doing it um and it ends up giving us more damage so i'm at 1875 dex hideout is 407 if that's what you're aiming for to be a hideout dps warrior last thing is amulet of enchanted true strike and the watch's eye is damage pen and chaos res. You can also get hatred crit with damage pen or hatred crit with cold damage. I just wanted the chaos res because this game is all chaos damage these days. That's basically it, I think. Last thing is a brutal restraint. I just bought one of these and divined it a lot. Um, this has dex dex percent dex minion damage is useless attack and cast speed is sort of okay dex so if i take this out i go from 1600 to 1875 you can get ones that have all percent dex like percent dex percent dex this you, you these are just luck just buy a brutal restraint and divine it that's all that comes down to i think that's it